What is going on everyone? I'm Adriano and welcome to my EWS Glue Transformation video series. This video is going to be about how to calculate new fields in dynamic frames in AWS Glue with PySpark. I'll be walking through step by step on how to do this with a couple of examples. The first example is going to be how we can create a field with a constant value. For example, give all records in a new field with a value of 1. The second example will be how to calculate new fields based on values in an existing field. For example, how we can multiply an existing field by itself. Third example is how we can calculate the current date time and assign it to a new field. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm in a Jupyter Notebook that is leveraging interactive glue sessions. I've already went ahead to import the base libraries that we need. Now, the first step is to create a dynamic frame from your data that you want to create new fields for. So I just went ahead to pull in some sample data. So this data is coming from Amazon S3. And what you can see here is we got an order ID, customer ID, total amount, and order date. So in one of my examples, we're going to be using the total amount column to create a new field. So we want to make sure that this has been formatted correctly. So as you can see here, it's currently coming in as a string, but this should be an integer. So, so the next function I'm going to run here is just going to make sure that all my columns are in the correct data type. So in order to create our new fields, we're going to be using the map transform, which is a method that is applied on dynamic frames. The map transform is very flexible and what it does is it applies a function to every record in our data frame. So the map transform has only one required parameter, which is F, and it's going to be the function we are going to be creating to create our various fields. All right, so for our first example, we're going to be creating a field with a constant value. So we're going to go ahead to create a new Python function. So it's going to be called add constant value column now the parameter is going to be dynamic frame so we're going to be basically running this on our existing data what we need to add to this function is the new column that we want to create so so we now use our dyf variable and we're going to create a list and within that list we're going to pass the name of the new field we want to create so i'm just going to call it new underscore column all right, so this is going to be created as a new column in our existing data frame. And I'm just going to give it a value of, let's say, give it two. Great. And now in order to make sure our function is returning the newly created column back, we're just going to add return EYF, which stands for dynamic frame. Great. So we can just give that a run. And now what we're going to do is going to create a new variable. We're going to call it DYF customer new column so this is going to be the result of our new calculation that we're going to perform on our existing data frame so we're going to say okay we're going to use the output from the apply mapping transform and we're just going to add it here now we're going to do dot map and we're going to pass f which stands for function and we're going to make it equal to the function that we've created earlier let's just close that off all right let's just see what the results of this will be so we'll, we're going to convert it to a spark data frame so to df and going to add the show method here and let's just give that a run great so as you can see here we've added a new column to our dynamic frame and now it has a value of two so for a second example, we're going to create a new column based on an existing field. So what we're going to be doing is doubling our total amount into a new field. So let's just go ahead and create a new function to do this. So we're going to now define another function. It's going to be called calculate double field. All right. So for our first line of code, we're going to now call DYF, create a list, and we're going to create the new name of the field that we want to create. It's going to be called sales doubled now we're going to add dyf now it's important to know the name of our existing field so i'm just going to make sure i'm spelling that correct it's going to be total amount and now because this column is a double we can do calculations on it so i'm going to now do times two so if this column was a string this would not work and now we're just going to add return dyf and let's just give that a run to make sure it works great so now we're just going to create a new variable. I'm going to call it DYF customer sales doubled. Now let's use the original dynamic frame where we set the schema to the correct data types. And again, we're going to use the dot map function and pass in our newly created function from above. Close off our bracket and let's just add another line of code to print our results. Let's just give that a run. 
Great, so now what we can see here is we have a new column that has been created. And as you can see, it is now double the values from our total amount. So we now successfully created what our sales values would be if it was doubled. All right, so for our final example, I'm going to show you how we can calculate the current date time and write that to a field. So in order for me to get the current date time, I have already went ahead to import date time module. So it's important that you add this for the next example to work. All right, so we're going to create a new function and this time I'm going to call it add date time field EYF. So we're going to do DYF, create a new list. And within that list, we're going to add the new name of the field that we want to add. I'm just going to call it update time. And now I'm going to make that equal to date time dot now. So this is just using the date time dot now method. And now we have to make sure we're turning DYF. And I forgot to mention this, but this can be any name that you are going to be calling it. I like to label it DYF just so I know it's a dynamic frame that's being passed in. Let's just give that a run. All right, now let's just create a new variable for a new dynamic frame. And let's make it equal to DYF customer underscore remapped again. And we're going to add dot map. And now we're going to pass in F is equal to the newly created function. Let's just close that off and give that a run. Now let's just print our results. Great. So now you can see we have a new column called update time that's created. And you can see here that we have the time that each record was created in my dynamic frame. So because this is running per record, the update time is actually going to be different for every single record by fractions of a second. So if you actually want this to just be the same, you could perhaps just calculate the date time outside of the function and then just reference that variable. So it's one static value. But if you use it within the function, it's going to have a new date time for every single record. So hopefully that makes sense. One thing I want to mention is I've showed you how to calculate this one at a time, but there's nothing stopping you from creating one function that calculates everything together. So depending on what transforms you want to do, it may make sense to add multiple columns into a function. So there you go. We've successfully calculated new fields using the map method in AWS Glue using PySpark. I hope you found this video helpful. If you think I missed something you think I should have covered in this video, please leave a comment below. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, please hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more videos on working with data on AWS. Thanks again and see you next time.